a very good morning and a warm welcome to all of you to my channel once again me kamaljeet kaur soni here this time i am going to discuss some very very crucial point regarding a very important exam called cams anybody who is looking for having career in anti money laundering cams certification is considered to be one of the very very recognized as well as important certification but before you plan for your exam there are certain thing which you should definitely know so purpose of this video is to explain those small small points which can really help you cracking the exam in very very first time so i'm here today to discuss those key points which will certainly help you cracking the exam and of course going a long way anybody who's looking for such certification at this stage is not just doing it because you want to crack one exam the purpose is to blend the knowledge and certifications together you want to enhance your skill set and that is with the passing an exam and of course understanding the concept very really well cams exam is designed in such a way that the content which are discussed are very very practical into aml field we just don't need theoretical knowledge we also need lot of practical aspect which cams study modules definitely cover but when it comes to exam many of us get stuck even if people who have real good experience in this field they are already experienced sometime they feel very very challenging to crack the exam so let's discuss what are the points which really uh, you know uh, pushes somewhere something which hold us back and that is where we need to understand those small small points so what are the things that we should keep in mind point number 1 how to deal with large chunk of contents to read all of us would have experienced that the exam has too long questions even if you look at practice questions you would realize that scenario based questions are very very common in cams exam and when it comes to scenario based they give very large chunk to read we have a very limited time however we have to read those question with very large chunk of contents and very interestingly the question try to confuse you how do they try to confuse they add some element in the scenario which pushes you to tick on certain option which may not be the right option so guys the first thing about cams exam is that the options you see hardly any option is wrong in normal mcq paper we follow a simple technique of elimination that this is the wrong answer eliminate it and of course we are left with one or two choices but unfortunately in cams exam all the answers may be right what we have to do is we have to select the best answer and that's where we get stuck especially when it comes to scenario based question things become even more difficult reason being you have lot of details to read some point in that scenario will hint towards taking a particular option but that may not be the right answer so how to deal with that particular issue now my experience in this field would say first read the scenario properly once you have read that scenario look at all 4 5 6 whatever options are given so once you have understood and comprehended the scenario and given option reread the question review it again because this time when you will be reading this there'll be another angle to read it also sometime in one go we may miss out on certain important thing scenario based questions are tricky because sometime we focus on that part which is not that important and we miss out that part which is actually important for us to do so all you have to do is read the scenario properly read all options and reread the question then take it second even if you know the answer while reading the question still read all options always because as i said none of the answer may be wrong 
all you have to do is select the best one so in order to select the best one we have to read all options right so that is point number one how to deal with those question which has lot of data to read let's move on to the next point the supplementary reading i wish the camps exam would be as simple as reading one book six chapters and that's it so there are approximately six chapters in their official study manual uh, the first four are core points the sixth one is more about practice question but then there is a catch though the camps have designed their study guide really well however there are since money laundering is such a wide concept we cannot say that one book can include everything that may not be possible so there are lot of time which will pushes you reading more for example there is a concept of money laundering uh, these days which is very uh, prominent called tbml trade based money laundering in tbml of course study guide has done quite a justice but there are a lot to read more about it so there may be need of supplementary reading in certain cases that's another point which is slightly tricky for a student now the question arises where should we go for supplementary reading well there is no definite answer to this but my suggestion and recommendation would be rather than going to forums speaking to people for free material free question free this free that go to official sources for example you know the bodies which are mentioned in a camps fatf or you talk about basel committee they have their official website so if i have to go through fatf's 40 recommendation i would rather go to fas fatf website and go through those 40 recommendation again tbml is something which is covered on their website really well so go with those content so for example if you are preparing for the exam and you think you need to know a bit more about tbml then go to fatif's website look at tbml how money launderers are using this technique for money laundering you don't need to study too much about too many things as a student that to working student it's really difficult it's not even required your study guide is your primary source of study apart from that do study a bit more on certain part that certain part will help you cracking this exam better because here your grip on the concept will be far better than just reading a book so this is second number point how to prepare for the exam when it comes to content but once again i would reef uh, you know uh, emphasize that if you have to go for supplementary reading please do not simply just searching on google because you may find lot of sources which may not be right sources for you to study so go for official sources the third point do we need a common sense or do we need memorization a very tricky question but unfortunately only 20 to 25% time the memorization based question comes rests about 70 30% time the questions uses your common sense conceptual understanding and scenario based question so the trick here is while you read the book read it nicely when it comes to understanding the definition or memorizing what is the role of fatif what is role of basel committee memorization will certainly come into picture but apart from that dealing with scenario based question would definitely require common sense a very frequent technique for a camps exam is your client is doing it or you have a new client how to deal with it so these are scenario based question which may not require memorization would require conceptual understanding so this is how we deal with this third crucial point do we need memorization or do we need common sense another important aspect i want to add here is i have met lot of people who says 
no come on we are into ml field for like 10 years 15 years good however don't club your practical knowledge with exam because many time we may go wrong over analyzing a question in exam will certainly take you in a wrong direction so stop over analyzing the key to deal with all mcq paper is read the question read the answer take it and once you have done it proceed with next don't stare at the question the more you look at the question the more you go into wrong direction and you'll start come on this can also be answered oh i read that as well oh when i was doing my practical case i did this as well don't over analyze not in exam so this is the third crucial point apart from that there are small small things which you should keep in mind one practice practice and practice what's the need to add three time because plain reading of book would not suffice you have to read the concept do the question reread the concept the concept is done practice more question they have a camps provide lot of questions in their book and apart from that the questions are available whatever is possible please practice those question read the concept practice the question reread the concept so that we are very very clear about that particular concept spend quality time over quantity many times student asks me as to how many hours are required to study and i always say it's up to you every person has a different way of study when i was a student i used to spend you know very qualitative time i would say being a ca even then i i was not a student who used to study like 24 hours a day kinds how much time is required is a very individual question you don't need to follow anyone but each time you study it should be very very qualitative you should get something productive in that time even if you study half an hour daily i'm good as long as that half an hour was productive don't waste time in collecting material from free websites a lot of people go to reddit quora keep asking questions which is fine you can always ask your question but don't waste too much of time collecting material there or getting your questions answered if you have some question you rather go to faq section of acams or if required write them a mail get the clarity that is far better than wasting your time in forums go for the newer version of study material so every examining body time to time keep revising their material it's always advisable to go for newer version because many time the focus will be as high as 30% or 40% on the revisions so let's say if a new book come with certain revision higher probability exam will test that concept so always go for a newer version if possible and last but not the least is focus on conceptual clarity nothing can beat that does not matter how much question is twisted if you are clear with the concept nothing can shake you away all right so these are few crucial tips from my side for a camps exam i'll keep coming to you guys with all tips and tricks for various exam and if you have any question please don't forget to write your question or query or concern in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe for the channel so with this thank you so much me kamaljit i'm very very happy to interact with once again all of you thank you stay tuned